In a wild twist, scientists have radically altered what we thought we knew about gravity. Our understanding of the universe has relied on the idea of dark matter. The majority of the universe's matter is made up of this invisible substance, which is also assumed to be what holds galaxies together. But what if dark matter was a myth all along? What if dark matter doesn't exist and our understanding of gravity is flawed? What might they indicate about how we perceive the universe? The way we think about gravity may need to alter as a result of the present scientific understanding of dark matter, which will be covered in this video. So let's get started. What is dark matter? Around 85% of the universe's matter is thought to be made up of dark matter, a hypothetical entity. It is referred to as dark since it cannot be directly detected because it does not emit, absorb or reflect light. Only by its gravitational influence on visible matter, like stars and galaxies, can we see its impact. Swiss scientist Fritz Zwicky initially introduced the concept of dark matter in the 1930s. He noted that the reported mass of galaxy clusters was insufficient to account for the gravitational forces holding them together. He asserted that the additional gravitational force must be caused by some unknown substance. The ability of stars at a galaxy's outermost region to move much more quickly than expected by Newton has led to the theory of dark matter. Perhaps a different theory of gravity would be more appropriate. We can create a fairly accurate model of the motions of the planets in the solar system using Newton's laws of physics. Early in the 1970s, researchers realized that this was incorrect because stars in disk galaxies, which are far from the gravitational pull of their central mass, were moving far more quickly than expected by Newton's theory. Because of this, physicists presented the widely accepted notion that an unobservable substance known as dark matter was exerting additional gravitational attraction and caused the stars to accelerate. Since that time, the idea of dark matter has evolved into a cornerstone of our knowledge of the cosmos. It is believed to be in charge of the universe's structure, galaxy formation and the spread of cosmic microwave background radiation. Observations of galaxy rotation curves, gravitational lensing and cosmic microwave background radiation are only a few examples of evidence for dark matter. Galaxy rotation curve data provides one of the strongest arguments in favor of dark matter. A galaxy's rotation curve is a graph that illustrates how the speed of the galaxy star varies as you go away from the center. As you move out from the galaxy's core, the speed of stars should slow down in accordance with the rules of gravity. Yet observations have revealed that as you move away from the center, the speed of stars either stays constant or even rises. Only the existence of extra matter that is pulling the stars toward it may account for this phenomenon. The extra matter is assumed to be dark matter, which is invisible because it doesn't interact with light. Gravitational lensing Gravitational lensing provides more support for the existence of dark matter. When the gravitational pull of a large object, like a galaxy, bends the course of light from a far-off object, like a quasar, it is said to be gravitational lensing. This light bending can produce several images of the faraway item or even a ring of light surrounding the large object. Scientists can determine an object's mass by monitoring the gravitational lensing effect since the degree of bending is dependent on the mass of the object. The calculated mass is frequently significantly more than the object's apparent mass, which raises the possibility of dark matter. Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation The earliest light in the world, the cosmic microwave background radiation, gives us a glimpse of the universe when it was still only 380,000 years old. Scientists can gain a very early understanding of the structure of the cosmos by examining this radiation. One of the most important discoveries of cosmic microwave background radiation is how uniformly heated the universe is 
with temperature variations of only one part in 100,000. Without dark matter, it is challenging to explain this degree of homogeneity. On the other hand, there are alternative theories to dark matter. Even if the case for dark matter is strong, some researchers have put out alternate hypotheses that could account for the observed events without the presence of dark matter. Let's investigate a few of these hypotheses. A recent investigation into the ultra-diffuse dwarf galaxy AGC 114905 has rekindled a contentious theory, or more precisely, a hypothesis of gravity, and raised more questions than it has provided answers regarding the functioning of our galaxy. Modified Newtonian Dynamics MOND, often known as the Milgromium Dynamics Framework, is an alternate explanation for dark matter. The hypothesis known as Modified Newtonian Dynamics or MOND contends that our knowledge of gravity is imperfect at the moment. The observed rotation curves of galaxies could be explained by MONDs, finding that the rules of gravity change at very great distances, eliminating the need for dark matter. The main tenet of MOND is that gravity deviates from Newtonian physics when it becomes extremely weak, as it does towards the edge of galaxies. This explains why stars, planets, and gas near the periphery of over 150 galaxies rotate more quickly than would be predicted from just their apparent mass. Nevertheless, MOND not only explains such rotation curves, it frequently predicts them as well. If we calculate the gravitational forces experienced by stars in outer galactic regions in a different way than how Newtonian laws suggest, then we don't need dark matter to fill in the gaps in the universe's gravity, according to this hypothesis, which was first proposed in 1983 by physicist Mordai Milgram. We need to be examining the speeds of galaxies, particularly peculiar ones like ultra-diffuse galaxies, in order to test this concept, which includes working with proportionality to the star's radius or centripetal acceleration. These very small, ugly ducklings of the galactic realm frequently behave inappropriately for a galaxy. As an illustration, some hyperdiffuse galaxies appear to be almost entirely composed of dark matter, whereas others appear to be almost entirely dark matter free. Here comes AGC 114905 into play. A research investigating the spin rate of this ultra diffuse dwarf galaxy which is 250 million light-years away, was published in 2021. However, this team discovered that the galaxy's spin was so sluggish that it not only did not require dark matter to support the models, but that the rotation curve of the galaxy seriously questioned the MOND framework. Neither of the two hypotheses fits the data. Yet only MOND is able to overcome this seeming contradiction. It can occasionally be difficult to determine the angle we are seeing when we observe galaxies that are far out in the reaches of space. AGC 114905 appeared elliptical to the initial crew, indicating that we are viewing the galaxy at an angle. Yet experts now contend that even when the galaxy is directly in front of us, it could still appear elliptical based on simulations. The speed of the galaxy's rotation would similarly alter with a change in the galaxy's angle to us, allowing the MOND calculations to finally make sense. Science's simulations suggest that AGC 114905's inclination may be considerably lower than previously thought, which would be consistent with MOND predictions and indicate that the galaxy is rotating much more quickly than previously believed. Scientists have suggested that MOND is superior to the conventional cosmological model, which holds that there is more dark matter than visible stuff in the universe, due to its capacity for prediction. This is due to the fact that dark matter content of galaxies is predicted by this model to be highly unknown and dependent on the galaxy's formation history, which is not always known. As a result, the rate at which galaxies should rotate is unpredictable. Yet with MOND, such forecasts are frequently made and they have so far come true. 
Consider a scenario in which we are aware of the galaxy's observable mass distribution, but not its rotational speed. Only on the periphery could it be reasonably predicted in the conventional cosmological model that the rotation speed will fall between 100 km per second and 300 km per second. Mond predicts with greater certainty that the rotation speed must fall between 180 and 190 km per second. Both theories can explain data that later show a rotation speed of 188 km per second, but it is obvious that Mond is chosen. So, what are the problems with dark matter? Galaxies frequently have galaxy bars at their central regions, which are rod-shaped bright regions made of stars. This is one of the standard cosmological model's most obvious failures. With time, the bars turn. If galaxies were surrounded by large dark matter halos, their bars would move more slowly. Yet, the majority of observed galaxy bars, if not all, are swift. This strongly suggests that the accepted cosmological model is false. Another issue is that the initial models that suggested dark matter halos around galaxies made a serious error in assuming that dark matter particles gave gravity to the surrounding matter but were unaffected by the gravity of the regular matter. Calculations were made simpler, but the reality was not reflected. It became evident that dark matter halos around galaxies do not consistently explain their properties when this was taken into consideration in later simulations. The mainstream cosmological model has numerous more flaws that are investigated and MOND is frequently able to naturally explain the findings. Even said, the mainstream cosmological model may be so widely accepted due to its computational errors or lack of understanding of its flaws, some of which were only recently identified. It might also be because no one wants to change a gravity theory that has worked so well in many other physics fields. Several scientists came to the conclusion that MOND is substantially favoured by the available observations as a result of MOND's massive advantage over the mainstream cosmological model in a study. Even though they acknowledge that MOND is not perfect, they believe it captures the big picture correctly. Galaxies actually lack dark matter. Emergent gravity Another theory that contends that our understanding of gravity is imperfect is the theory of emergent gravity. Gravity is not a fundamental force of nature, but rather an emerging characteristic of the cosmos according to emergent gravity. According to the theory underpinning emergent gravity, gravity develops from the actions of quantum particles. According to this hypothesis, the gravitational force is a force between the quantum particles that make up the huge objects, rather than a force between massive things. Many of the phenomena that are typically attributed to dark matter, like the rotation curves of galaxies and the structure of the universe, may be explained by emergent gravity. The hypothesis is still in its infancy, so it's not yet apparent if it will completely displace how we currently perceive gravity. What does this entail for how we perceive the universe, then? If our theory of gravity is flawed, it would indicate that our knowledge of how gravity functions is insufficient and we would require a new theory to account for the occurrences that we experience in the cosmos. Given that dark matter is so important to our current understanding of galaxy formation and evolution, as well as the large-scale structure of the universe, this would represent a tremendous advancement in our knowledge of the cosmos. Although alternatives to dark matter have been put out, including MOND and emergent gravity, it is not yet obvious if these can adequately explain the events that have been seen. For the time being, dark matter continues to be supported by strong evidence, which is crucial to our comprehension of the cosmos. But it's likely that as our knowledge of gravity and the cosmos continues to advance, so will our understanding of dark matter. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.